guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial on this red sparkly look that I'm wearing right now. If you aren't already subscribed, please make sure to do so. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get into it. So my brows are on. I'll make sure to link that tutorial in the cards above if you're interested. And then I went ahead and I primed my lids with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. And then I just set that in place with my Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow and Creme Brulee. Now I'm taking Rose Quartz from the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop So Jaded Palette and buffing that all throughout my crease just as a transition color. Now I'm gonna take garnet and kind of make a wing shape in this very outer corner. And then I'll just kind of fill that in and bring it about halfway across the eye. I'm not worried about this being too terribly sharp of a line. I kind of want it to be a little bit blended out. Now I'm gonna take just a little bit of InstaWorthy from the Pure Festival 2.0 eyeshadow palette and use that to just lightly blend out the edges and then I'll bring that a little bit farther in. Now I'm going to take some of my Suva Beauty Pressed Eyeshadow in Resort and with my finger I'm just going to kind of pack that all over where we just placed those other shades. I'll go in with a brush and kind of soften out the edges and whatnot. Oh my goodness, Stitch is being crazy. Stitch, can you... Get out from under the table. <sighs> now with Uptight from the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette, I'm gonna wet my brush just with the Milani setting spray and pick that up. And then I'm gonna place that next to the previous shade, but just a little bit further in. Keep focusing it mostly on the lid. I don't wanna bring it up too high. I'm kind of using padding motions where the two meet to blend the two colors together. And I'll go in with my finger just a little bit and then back in with the, the brush just to blend it out again. Now I'm taking Sunstone and just placing that right on the very inner portion of the lid. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit of the ColourPop Pressed Glitters in Band Tea and Cloudy. It's just this red and this kind of purplish gold one. And I am gonna lay down a little bit of glitter glue first. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter adhesive. Taking a fluffier kind of pointy brush and I'm gonna start placing that in this very outer corner. And then I'm gonna take up just a mixture of those two on my brush. We will get a good variety of textures. And these glitters technically aren't eye safe and so you do wanna use extreme caution if you decide to do this. You want to make sure you're not getting them too close to the eye itself and when you take it off it's a good idea to use scotch tape you can just kind of press it on the glitter and peel it off and so that way you minimize any kind of rubbing that you're going to be doing on your eye i'm going to go do the same thing on my other eye now i'm going to take the ColourPop pretty fresh hydrating primer and use that as kind of a nice moisturizing base for the rest of my foundation and whatnot I'm gonna go in with some of my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, just in the areas where my pores are a little bit more visible. If 
for foundation, I'm just using some of my ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. For concealer, I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer. Just using that to cover up my under eyes. Any other little blemishes peeking through. I'm going in with the Cody Airspun Powder just to set that in place. Using a small velour puff for under my eyes and then I'll dust the excess away with a small powder brush and kind of dust the rest of the face very lightly. Bronzing and contouring a little bit with the Aesthetic of Sunset Bronzer. Just to add a little bit of warmth and definition into the skin. Picking that mostly on my cheekbones and just the perimeter of my face. And then I'll dust a little bit across my nose. Really like to work this into the hairline so there's no harsh demarcation line. Going in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Just hitting the high points of my face. Focusing that mostly on my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then just a light dusting everywhere else. For blush, I'm going in with my Tarte Blush and Party. Using my e.l.f. brow pencil just to redefine my bigger freckle. For lips, first I'm going to line them with my Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in Lost in Love. I'm going to layer on some of the Sephora Lip Stories Balm in Are You Jealous? I'm going to take just a little bit of Garnet from before and smoke that on my lower lash line, focusing it mostly towards the outer half. Just kind of connecting it with our wing shape on the lid. Blending that out just a little bit with Instaworthy from the Pure Festival 2.0 palette. Taking some of Sunstone from the So Jaded palette and popping it on the inner half of the lower lash line. And I'm just popping pearl on my inner corner. I'm gonna line my tight line with the Marc Jacobs highlighter. And then I'll kind of extend my inner corner with that as well. Just taking it on an angled brush. just very lightly putting that right on my inner tear duct. Gonna pop on some mascara and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I threw on some of the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara and then I wanted a little bit more volume so I put on some of the Kiss Magnetic Lashes in the style Lure and I just used some of the Kiss Magnetic Liner to pop those on but that's the finished look. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.